time for our week six Madden Sim. The updated Sim records after week five. Lions had a bye, by the way. They're three and one. The Cowboys currently second in the division or in the NFC behind the four now undefeated San Francisco 49ers. They're five and zero oh entering week six. Cowboys are four and one coming off a loss that was rigged against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So who do you got in this week's sim? C for the Cowboys, L for the Lions. Get those predictions in for me in the comments. That's where else we do it on today's show. As a reminder, slash the upcoming schedule. Week one, they beat the Browns 27-17. They survived with a late doinked field goal against the Saints 26-25. They beat the Ravens 17-10. Strange kicking a field goal as time expired for no reason, but Madden is poorly coded. The most realistic outcome ever. They beat the Giants 24-0. The Giants had negative passing yards for three quarters of the game. Then in a rigged game against the Steelers, they lost 14-11, in which the refs called back a touchdown. We've got penalties turned down. We've had three penalties all year, all three against the Cowboys one of which was a called back touchdown. Uh, T.J. Watt burned uh, Terrence Steele multiple times. It was absolutely rigged. Now we play week six, the meat of the schedule before the Niners in, on June 13th. That's the Thursday sim. Get to our Monday sim. Cowboys, Lions, get those score predictions in here as we'll go play-by-play -play here for the game. As a reminder, $5 Super Chat gets you entered to win our Cowboys Bluetooth speaker. Kick is away here, and will be brought out from by Turpin and gets really nothing on that play. He got that ball at the nine and picked up maybe 10 yards total. So Cowboys will come out here on offense. Uh, again, this is Madden 24 with updated rosters. Uh, the big difference is it's, it's still got the 2022 stats. I, I hate it, but it is, it is what it is there. Let's see if he does this. This is like the go-to Madden mo movement under, under center. Here, oh, here it comes. There it is. Every, every time, every, like every other possession, it's just ridiculous. So Cowboys football, Prescott under center. Uh, that's Dowdle, the single back. Dowdle handoff. He picks up six on that one. I will make notes uh, after he dropped three passes, one of which was a touchdown, we did bench Rico Dowdle as the, the third down back. Uh, he is no longer the third down back. I put Deuce Vaughn and Zeke Elliott in there instead. Second and four for the Cowboys here. Hand off to Dowdle again. First down, big gain. I don't know why he ran right into the defender, but that was a big pickup for Dowdle. Carlton Davis on the tackle. So first and ten Cowboys. I did make Tyler Guyton the starter at left tackle. Cooper Beebe is your center. Cowboys in the shotgun here. Prescott drops back to pass. Hand off to Deuce Vaughn, and Deuce Vaughn is going to lose a yard. He shouldn't have cut it left. He, sh he, he should have gone to the right side. Well, we got Deuce Vaughn action for the first time all year, I think, in these Sims. Guys, I'll, I'll shut on a secret. MG's actually a, a Cowboys fan. He just likes to troll. Dead serious. He has admitted it before. That's why he watches every show from start to finish. Prescott finds Tolbert. Tolbert a big gain to the 41-yard line. Again, a 22. Uh, two Lion defenders ran into each other. Big play there from Tolbert. He's kind of made, a, made a, a couple good good plays as of late. In the Sims, at least. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what angle that DB was taking there. That was, that was pretty bad. Rigged in favor of the Cowboys? Who knows? So pistol set here for, the, for Prescott and the Cowboys. Ball at the 41-yard line. Dak changing the play here. It's a pass over the middle. Caught first down for Brandon Cooks. A gain of maybe 13. It is 13 yards there for Cooks. Dallas marching on the opening drive, type in those ones for a first down conversion. Prescott going to go empty here. Two right, three left. In the shotgun. He drops back. Quick pass. Caught. 
Lamb picks up nine on that one. A little bit behind him, but it was away from the defense. Second and one coming up here. Every show, someone goes, Mike's not big enough in Madden. Honestly, neither is Dan Campbell. I don't know if you saw him there. Dan, Dan was kind of thin. He was thin. He's in good shape, but he, he's, he's a big guy. Prescott in the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Takes a shot downfield. Drops. Brandon Cooks had the first down and more. It falls incomplete. That is, I, 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 I track the, the, the drops as we go. First drop of the year for Brandon Cooks, I believe. So third and one. I, I, I made Zeke the power back. Why is Dowdle in there? I don't get it. Hand off to Dowdle. Cuts it back. Gets the first down. That was some good vision by Rico. Or Madden Rico, I suppose. It's not real life Madden at all. Good running there by Dowdle. First and ten for the Cowboys. Oh, he's going to do it again. Oh, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't cut to it. Prescott in the shotgun. Trips left formation. Ball inside the red zone. Dak drops back to pass. End zone shot. Caught. Is he in? Touchdown, Dallas. Cooks redeems himself for the drop earlier. That might need to go to review. I'm not sure he was actually across. Seam shot. Dak to Cooks. Touchdown, Cowboys. I don't know about him being in there. That, that, that's pretty close. I'll take it, though. 2.48 to go in the first quarter. Extra point time in Dallas. Brandon Aubrey's kick is up and good. 7-0. So a nine-play, 80-yard scoring drive for Dallas. Yeah, see, Campbell's too thin. He's, he's too thin. The face is right, but the body needs to be, like, stronger. 7-0. Dallas leads the Lions. $5 Super Chat, you get an entry into our Cowboys Bluetooth speaker giveaway. By the way, Elliot's on Twitter teams, which is hilarious. Zeke's on teams. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, $10 is three entries. $20, a two-for-one shot. $50, a two-for-one beer bong for the first one that comes. It has been zero so far. Very sad. Guess I just get to be, I guess my liver gets a breather. Everyone's scared. It's fine. Fine. My liver's not scared, but so Lions football down seven nothing here. Richard, this is running on my PS5. That's what this is on. All right. Lions football. Gibbs and Montgomery and DPJ and Laporta and Amon Ross St. Brown, the Sun God, and Jamison Williams. Goff in the shotgun. From the 25. Drops back to pass. Quick slant. Caught. It's a gain of six to Jamison Williams. Jordan Lewis makes the tackle. Was some pressure coming, I think, from Mozzie Smith on that play. Did not get there in time. So second and four here for the Lions. It's a light box. Goff. Hand off to the open light box area. Nice juke move there from Gibbs, but a good pursuit tackle by Micah Parsons. There was a big hole right in that area where they ran to. Very, very realistic of the way the Cowboys play run defense. First and 10 for the Lions now. Goff under center. Multiple tight ends on the field. Play action pass for Goff. Going to check it down to Gibbs. Rocked by Eric Kendricks, but does pick up seven. First quarter beginning to wind down. Second and three here. Uh, Alex Madden does have the Zim-style defense, but they never show the double-A gap blitz, even though it is in the game. It is, they just never do it. I wish they did. Goff, out route. Caught. Marquise Bell makes the tackle on Sam Laporta. So Goff, three for three. Efficient so far as we get almost to about a minute to go here in the first quarter. Goff going to go under center. Three tight ends on the field. I assume that's not an extra lineman. 
Handoff to Gibbs. Nothing there. Overshone blows it up. So maybe a yard, if that. I think he actually lost a yard. Second and eight seems wrong to me. But this could be the final play here of the first quarter. Goff going to go under center on second and eight. Oh, I, I, I guess it's second down, so they did give him two yards. Duh. Hand off again. Nothing there. Blown up by Duran Bland, a tackle for loss. Uh, looks like the Lions will run at least one more play. Uh, yeah, they have to run at least one more play here on third and nine. Oh, never mind. I guess I misjudged the play clock, game clock. They don't have to. Thought I had that right. Did not. Goff drops back to pass. Downfield. Got a man wide open. Amon Ross St. Brown found the soft spot in the defense for a big pickup. Marquise Bell made the tackle. The Cowboys run in zone, and the Lions find the open spot. So first quarter comes to a close. We have not seen Ezekiel Elliott yet in today's game, but you can get his jersey over at chatsports.com slash Zeke15jersey. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. That's chatsports.com slash Zeke15jersey. The Super Chat menu today, not very many. $5, Cowboys Bluetooth speaker entry. $10 is three raffle entries for it. We'll get that shipped out to you this Friday because we'll run the raffle on Thursday. The first one that comes in is a two-for-one shot specialty. The first beer bong that comes in the 50-piece is a two-for-one, plus you go in the Beer Bong Hall of Fame. And the MVP of today's show is gets to pick a segment for the next week's live broadcast. Let's go back to the action here. Lions football first and 10, just outside the 35-yard line. Goff under center. Handoff to Gibbs, and Gibbs is going to get two yards. Not a lot there. Mozzie Smith among those in on the tackle. There's Trey Lance. They love showing backups. I don't know why. They really, they really like cutting to him. Second and eight here for the Lions. Now past the 35-yard line. Goff drops back to pass. Out route. Incomplete. Overshone laid the lumber, and Brock Wright, the backup tight end, could not hang on to it. Hey, there, there's a starter. There's another starter. Third and eight. Type in those threes in the comment section. Empty personnel here for Goff. Third and eight. Drops back. Downfield. Overshot his man incomplete. All right. Fourth and eight. Field goal unit set to come out here. There's five and a half to go in the second quarter. Sip some water. I think it's Michael Badgley's the kicker. I think it is. That one I assume is good. Madden does a bad job of showing if it's good or not. Yeah, that, that, that's good. That's good. Seven to three. So Cowboys to come back out here on offense. Back getting warmed up. Not that he needs it because they've been playing a game. Obviously. Did they just shave off an extra two, two s seconds on that clock? Or, or am I crazy? I don't know. I thought it was 5.30. I guess not. Anyway. Turpin back deep on the kick here. Badgley is the, or I think actually Jack Fox is the place kicker here. It's away. Turpin from the 12 is going to get to the 30 and upended hard on that one, but a good return by Cavante Turpin. Dallas starts off in good field position why there's always that flash of yellow, I don't know. It makes me think there's a flag. After, like, you know, the, when it's different personnel, it's like all of a sudden, like, there, there's a flash of yellow, and I hate it. I, back to the thing again, by the way. All the time. All the time. But I, is that Elliot or Dowdle back there in the game? Prescott under center with a fullback in the game here. Hand off to Dowdle. Dowdle gets two yards, and that was, I think, it was a generous two on that handoff, Prescott didn't like something. Sorry, Madden Dak didn't like something. 
So second and eight, 5.05 to go here in the second quarter. Prescott in the shotgun, three to the right, one to the left. Deuce Vaughn checks in the game as a pass protector. He's going to get the handoff. Deuce Vaughn, first down and more to the midfield. First down, Deuce. A gain of 16 for Vaughn. Everyone spams small in the comments. Deuce Vaughn up the middle for a big gain. Love to see it. That's why we benched Rico Dado because he had three drops last week. S-M-O-L for our small running back. Dak play action. Pressure coming. He goes down. Derek Barnes blew right by Tyler Guyton. And now it is second and 16. That did not go well. They had Dowdle blocking on the right side, and Guyton just got worked on that play. So second and 16, now back at the 45. Hand off again to Deuce Vaughn, who picks up two. I don't really know why you ran it on second and 16. I think that's very cowardly. Now it is third and forever, and I don't like my chances of getting this first down here, if I'm being honest. Although... Real life, they're actually great on third and long relative to the rest of the NFL. Still, still tough to get first downs here. Third and 14, Prescott. It's a screen, and uh, De Deuce did not leak out. I think what happened, it was designed to be a – now, this is assuming Madden is accurate and not just play was doomed from the start because it's coded that way. Uh, Deuce was supposed to leak out, and I think it was supposed to be like a, a delayed screen – the problem is there were three guys coming off. I think they wanted it to be more delayed. That's a bad punt by Brian Anger, too. That was almost out of the field, like into the stands. So it was, a, it was supposed to be a screen. The linemen go immediately. Deuce delays, and there's three guys coming free, so Dak just kind of got rid of it. What I think actually happened is uh, that play was doomed from the start, so Madden made it so is what I think actually happened. That's coded. That was a bad punt. That didn't even get to the 25. That was like maybe a 30-yard punt for Brian Anger. Hand off to Gibbs, and Gibbs gets to the 33-yard line. So second and six coming up here. The face is right on Dan, but the body's not. Same with Mike. The face is kind of close. Body's not right. 3-10 to go here in the first half. Jared Goff drops back to pass under some pressure across his body, caught for a first down. That reminds me of the Mac Jones pick six last year where Mac Jones kind of scrambled right and threw across his body and Deron Bland picked it off and ran it the other way for six because that was a stupid play by Mac Jones. Worked that time for the Lions. The first time really Goff got moved off his spot in this sim. They'll go empty personnel here. 2.40 to go in the half from the 40. Goff drops back over the middle. Wide open man. That is Donovan Peoples-Jones. Been no pass rush here for the Cowboys. None whatsoever. Bad start for Dallas. First and 10 for the Lions. Bats are on defense to this drive really quickly. They are up 7-3. to three. Hand off to Gibbs. Gibbs is going to make a man miss. Gets the first down past the 30. Inside the 25. That will take us down to the two-minute warning. They did not keep contain. Jameer Gibbs got to the edge and got a huge first down. From the 24, at the two-minute warning, 7-3 to three Cowboys lead. Jared Goff drops back over the middle, caught to the 11. Big hit. I think that was Malik Hooker, but Jamison Williams gets the first down. Was Malik Hooker. So Lions are marching, a minute 45 to go here. First and 10. Goff drops back to pass over the middle. That is a gain of 
four to, Ho or to, to Laporta. Zeno, this is where the Cowboys should be using, using their timeouts. Yes, they should be. They are not. Second and six, 103 to go here in the quarter. And the half as a result. Three left, one right. From just inside the eight-yard line. Second and six. Goff drops back to pass. Has time. Check down. Gibbs is not going to get it. Marquise Bell stops him short. The Lions call a timeout. Third and three. 34 seconds left in the quarter. So the Lions here trying to take the lead before the half. Ball is at the five. First down is the two. Can the Cowboys hold again on third down? They did it once earlier in this game. Goff, again with time. Now feeling it. Going to take a sack. Micah Parsons brings him down a loss of 13. Lion, Cowboys call a timeout. Lions have to kick the field goal. The pass rush for the first time all game shows up. I don't know what Chauncey Golston was doing. You see him just kind of barrel roll? So the Cowboys defense holds. Lions must kick the field goal now. Micah Parsons the sack. That field goal is up and I assume good. That should make it 7-6. to six. It is good. They really don't show, like, just field goal good graphic. All you have to show. I don't know why that's not in there. It, it used to be in there. Remember, they used to have the, 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 the training camp drills for years, then took it away, and then finally re-added it, re -added it as a feature. There for years. All right. Jack Fox here is the place kicker on kickoffs. Turpin back deep again. He took one back this year, right? Was, it, was that against the Giants or was it the Saints game? Yeah, he's, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. The, the, the Ravens game he did. As Turpin gets past the 20, so Dallas has two timeouts. 21 seconds left. They lead 7-6. to six. See what they can dial up here. I swear to God, if they run the football, I'm, I'm going to lose it. That's, it, it. I hate that play call. They drop back to pass. Prescott, downfield, got a man! It's Tolbert, past the 40, to the 35! Timeout Dallas, a huge gain. I think that's 19, 15, I can't tell from here. Prescott found Tolbert. He got behind the defense on a little corner route and picked up a huge chunk of change. Tolbert's having a nice little game here. First and 10, now at the Lions 33-yard line. Prescott and empty personnel. He'll drop back to pass. Prescott over the middle, caught by Cooks for a gain of four. And Dallas let the clock bleed down there, and they'll take a timeout and let Aubrey kick a long field goal try. Timeout, Dallas. So why do they call it two seconds there? And in other games, they've called it with four seconds. I don't understand that. Very strange. The offense is out there when they're clearly going to kick a field goal. Again, terribly coded game. College football 25, please be better. This is about a 46-yard try for Brandon Aubrey. From the left hash, kick is up, and good. I, I saw the score change. Dallas gets points before the half thanks to a big play from Prescott and Tolbert. Dallas leads 10-6. to, to six. 99 passing yards for Prescott in the first quarter. First half, excuse me. The second half set to get going here momentarily. First, as a reminder, you can get the Ezekiel Elliott 15 jersey at chatsports.com slash Zeke 15 jersey. Link will be in the comments section and the description of today's show. That's chatsports.com slash Zeke 15 jersey. Because we have had no real Super Chats come in, I might regret this, but for the entirety of the second half, 
everything is, is buy one, get one on the Super Chat menu. So a Bluetooth entry speaker for $5 is now two entries. That means the $10 is now six raffle entries. We'll get that two for one, so it's a really, really good deal there. All shots are two for 20. I'll do three for the first one. Do three. Beer bongs are now all two for 50. And I'll do, we haven't thought, we have never had it. No one's done it ever, Chris. Four for, it's four for 50. For the first beer bong only, everyone after that is two. So that is the super chat menu. Since there's been none so far, everything's two for one. Five for two Bluetooth entries. $10 is six. 20 bucks is two shots, three for the first one. And the first $50 beer bong is four. Two after that. Let's get to the second half of action here. It will be, I believe it's Lions football to start, right? Pretty sure that's the case. So 10 to 6, Dallas leads here at the half. Defense has allowed some drives, but gotten off the field outside of the, the sack killing drive. It was going pretty well. Kick is away here from Brandon Aubrey. And will be brought out from the 20, or to the 20, and spun down at about the 23. All right. It's Cleef Raymond, I believe. So first and 10, Lions football. Get the defense going. That took three seconds off the clock. I have my doubts takes three seconds to run the ball 20 yards. Math ain't math. So Goff in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Downfield. Got a man for a big gain. Amon Ross St. Brown again finds the low-res backup player. He had very poor textures there. That has not changed in like 12 years of, of video games. The sideline players still look like crap. So first and 10. Goff hands it off to Gibbs. There's not a ton there. They're going to say he only got a yard. I'm pretty sure he got more than that. But Malik Hooker again in on the tackle there. Second and nine, very, very poor spot. Normally that means it gets adjusted on, on, on the next play, I've noticed. Also, they have less than nine yards to get the first down very clearly. Goff, downfield, big play. The Lions will score. Jameer Gibbs got behind the defense, and the Lions take the lead. Don't like that. Jordan Lewis could not hang. Micah did get free, but it was too late. Touchdown, Lions. I could really use that four for one beer bong right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Sounds delicious. So 12-10, Lions lead the Cowboys early in the third quarter. Kick is away, and it is good. I like how they showed Hendon Hooker holding it and like celebrating with the holder. What are you doing out there? 13-10. Cowboys now got to go back out there on offense. Got to get going there. We will do Madden subs every single week this year. Or Madden Sims, excuse me. Every single week, hit that sub button, folks, so you don't miss out if you haven't already subscribed. Kicks away. Turpin takes it out from a yard and a half deep in his own end zone. He will get to the 20, and that is it. Maybe they'll give him the ball to 21. So a long way to go here for the Cowboys. Zeno says Madden's being unrealistic. Dan Campbell should be going for two here. <laughs> Funny. Uh, oh, he did it again. 
same, just like, it's so, so poorly coded. Please do better college football 25. First super chat of 20 is actually three shots, by the way, folks. Then it's two for one after that for the remainder of the half. Prescott, play action pass, downfield, got a man, first down. It's Brandon Cooks again, who is frozen. I think he's dead. And now he's suddenly up on the other side of the field. Did you notice that he was stuck in this pose? He was stuck like that. Big gain either way, just shy of the 40. Prescott under center. Hands off to Dowdle. Dowdle off the left side is going to get the first down. They'll give it to him. Rico Dowdle picks up a nice chunk of change. Alex says, someone get Tom wasted for uh, reasons. It's up to you guys. Those are the rules set down by my bosses. The first thing in our Super Chat is four beer bongs. We've never done it before. Prescott and empty personnel here. Under duress, rolling left, tucking and running. Prescott, first down and more, 40, and slides for a gain of 21. A nice bit of running there by Prescott for a first down. As Texas, Brandon Hooks with a first down and a seizure. That's what it looked like. He was just stuck like this. That does what look like Jared Goff a, a, a decent amount, though. So 4.07 to go in the third quarter. It's first and 10. Elliott checks in the football game, I believe. Lipke motions from left to right. Elliott gets the handoff. Elliott gets to the edge. A lot of room to run. Inside the 20, he picks up 14. Great blocking up front. A lot of room to run as Zeke continues to be like the most hyper-efficient back in NFL history. He's averaging like eight yards a carry because he always gets those types of runs somehow. I think he's broken zero tackles this year. Deuce Vaughn in the game in the pistol set. Prescott drops back. Checks it down. Caught by Lamb is going to get nothing. I think they gave him the no forward progress. Second and 10. Yeah, Lamb's been quiet. Inside the 20. Prescott drops back. Seam shot. Caught down at the one. Ferguson almost got in. First in goal for Dallas now. Ferguson picks up 17. Daniel almost looked like a genius, he said. Ferguson with TD right here. Almost looks so smart. All right, first in goal. Run that football from the one. Prescott, Dowdle. He's in. The strangest ever leaping touchdown in which he kind of just kamikaze himself head first at the defender. It looked like the last touchdown from the longest yard. Just like dives for it. <laughs> I don't know if he actually got in, by the way. I, I, I question if he actually got in. But he kamikaze himself across the, the pylon for a touchdown, or across the goal line. So Dallas retakes the lead. Extra point is up, and that one is good. 17-13. Dallas offense playing well today. A couple of punts or, uh, of scores here. We got ourselves a ball game. 2.54 to go. Now you, need to, now you need the defense to make a big play. That's what you need. Again, $5 right now is two entries into our Cowboys Bluetooth speaker raffle. $10 is six entries. So it's a pretty great deal. Kick is away. And it'll be brought out by Raymond, the 20, the 25, and taken down about the 26, 27-yard line. So $5 Super Chat is two entries. $10 is six entries. $20 for the first one is three shots. Every 20 after that is two. We've never had someone take us up on the offer, but a $50 Super Chat is four beer bongs, all in a row, all by me. Four beer bongs for a 50-piece. In the words of, I forget who it was, someone get Tom hammered for reasons. It'd be funny. 
Handoff to Gibbs is a one-yard gain. Overshone again in on the tackle there. There's Aiden Hutchinson. Hutchinson's been quiet, by the way. They've not mentioned him, I don't think, one time today. Second and nine, the defense to get going here. Goff in the shotgun. Handoff again to Gibbs, and that one doesn't have a ton of room. Eric Kendricks led the charge. Third and six, type in those threes. Can the defense get a force a quick three and out and put the offense in go get more points position? Possible. Third and six, type in those threes. Goff drops back to pass. Under some pressure, throwing across his body, incomplete. Coverage did a great job there. Nobody open for Goff. Fourth and six. Lions, I assume, will punt, but it is Dan Campbell. You never know. Well, they always say stay out there, and then they always flip it. It's really annoying because the game is stupid. Fourth and six, they will punt. Ooh, Kendricks hit the punter. Fair caught at the 26, 27 by Turpin. I guess they did not throw a flag there. Rico Daddles got six carries, 33 yards, and a score today. First and 10. Here it comes. I feel it. There it is. The Omega one. Three shots. Let's go. Shout out to the Omega one. His first ever super chat. Everyone spam Omega in the comments. Prescott slant behind and caught. That was a hell of a catch by Brandon Cooks. One shot. Two shots. Third shot after the second and four play. Woo. Teleporting handoff to Dowdle. Got the first down. Everyone else saw that, right? That ball never got to Dowdle, and he did not get the first down, right? We all saw that. All right. It's rigged in favor of, of, of the Dallas Cowboys. They're, they're, they are going to win. They are going to win. Prescott under center. I stole the third shot. Slant, caught, Tolbert again. Gain of eight. One more shot. Cheers to you, the Omega one. I need a beer ball now to wash that down. Or four of them. Second and two. We've got 32 seconds to go in the third quarter. Prescott drops back. Got a man. It's Schoonmaker. Past the 40. Man, Dak is 12 of 14 for 167, I think. Cowboys do not have to run a play here. That's a gain of 15 even though they showed Jake Ferguson celebrating on a Luke Schoonmaker catch. I, I, I do want to point that out, by the way. Prescott under center. They will run a play. It's a handoff to Dowdle. Dowdle's loose. Past the 20. 15. 10. Down at the 5. Huge gain for Dowdle. Type in those 1s and the 4s as we go to the 4th quarter. And I wonder if it'll be red zone time for one Ezekiel Elliott. You can get his jersey by going to chatsports.com slash Zeke15jersey. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. That's chatsports.com slash Zeke15jersey. Check that out if you want the updated Ezekiel Elliott jersey. The Super Chat menu. $5 is a Cowboys Bluetooth speaker entry. We'll give some entries to the Omega one for his $20 Super Chat as well. That's two entries. It's all double the price in the, in the second half, since there weren't very many early. $10 is six raffle entries. $20 is two shots now. We did three earlier. That's why I got the hiccups slash the burpees. $50 is going to be two beer bongs. The first one, if we get it before the game ends is four beer bongs by me. That is for a $50 super chat. 
The MVP of today's show gets to pick a segment for next week, which as it stands right now, that is the Omega one. So if no one beats you, my friend, email me, Tom, at chatsports.com. To the fourth quarter, as Daniel Garcia, $10, says MG's a sour apple. At six entries, Daniel, thank you, my friend. From They marked down at the three on that run by Rico Dowdle, by the way. Prescott, slant, caught, touchdown with ease. C.D. Lamb. He's been kind of quiet lately, but that one was easy. Love to see that. Type in those TDs. That was Lamb on Alex Anzalone. That's a, that's a no-brainer matchup. And that is, a, that is soon to be 14 unanswered here by the Cowboys offense as we are now in the fourth quarter. Kick is up and good. 24-13, Cowboys lead late in the fourth quarter. Alex F., you are correct. MG likes the Cowboys. He just likes to troll people. He thinks it's fun. That's why he watches every single Cowboys report for the entirety of it. Every, he does every single one. He did admit it one day. One time. I think it was in a super chat, by the way. So Dallas is up 24-13. One more defensive stat, or stop. I think they'll be in, in good shape. Appreciate Daniel Super Chat. You're into the speaker raffle, by the way. That is going to be a touchback there for the Lions. So a quick strike set up by the long Rico Dowdle run. Hoping for, I'm hoping for the beer bong, Chris. That's what I want right now. I want the four beer bongs in a row. I want to be the most burpy person alive. Straight hiccups. Alex is going to try to match me shot for shot when the game starts. Would not advise it. Would not. Maybe do like every third or fourth one. If that. Goff drops back to pass. Pressure coming. Screen. He's got Gibbs. Gibbs is going to get about six on that one. 24-13, Dallas leads the Lions. Second and four. Anthony McMillan delivers! My man! It's a swing pass to Gibbs. He gets nothing. Anthony McMillan coming through. I love Anthony. He says nothing all live chat and then just drops the bomb. Everyone spam Anthony in the comment section. I'll need the beer bongs here. Different flavors, please. We'll mix it up. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play it out and, and, and then, we'll, then, then we'll do the beer bongs here once, the, once they're ready. Goff drops back to pass. Another screen. Chauncey Golston blows it up. Fourth and seven. The Cowboys defense stands strong. I think we can do both. There'll be enough highlights and replays and stuff, and it doesn't take me long to, to pound these. Anthony McMillan's going again on the Beer Bong Hall of Fame. There's so many AMs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I smeared that one. Shoot. Yeah. All right. Should we do the Baja Blast flavor first? Or the uh, watermelon flavor first. They're going for it on fourth and seven. Goff delivers. It's incomplete. He dropped it. He dropped it. I was not ready for the fourth and Very Dan Campbell. Very Dan Campbell. All right. Let's uh, vote quickly. Whoever comments first. Watermelon or Baja Blast? I got, I, I got two of each. All right. So we'll go Baja Blast. I, I got two of each here. Anthony McMillan always delivering in the clutch. Wait, is that closed? Shoot. Okay, let's go through. It's been real bad. It's been real bad. First and 10 Cowboys. Prescott drops back to pass. Over the middle. Got Lamb. 20, 15, 10. Lamb gets the first down. Uh, if this were real life, I'd be so happy right now because that game was closed for so long. And they just ran away with it. All right, here we go. First one. One down. 
we'll do watermelon next, and then go back to the Baja Blast. Handoff up the middle to Dowdle. Dowdle is going to get two yards. I got the beer bong caught on the cords underneath there. We don't wipe these 304s, says Dan, so ha Dan Cilio has us winning five games. Okay. Dan also said the Cowboys were signing Tom Brady, so he's not exactly the most uh, credible person out there. Watermelon's turn. Oh, shit. That's not close, by the way. That was, that was almost really bad. Swing pass to Dowdle. Dowdle is going to get three, third and five coming up here. Get the air bubble out. That was not closed all the way. That was almost really bad. Here we go. Third and five. Cowboys up 24-13. Prescott. Drops back, looking, rolling right, looking, throwing right at a defender. Not even Daniel Jones would do that. I mean, literally, that was directly at the defender's legs. On third down. All right, back to the Baja Blast here. Aubrey with a chip shot field goal. It is now 27-13, so it is still a two-touchdown game. Here's number three. I almost lost count there. Anthony McMillan always coming through in the, the clutch. I don't know if you guys saw that on, on the camera. It like kind of, there's a lot of it all of a sudden. I find this one's a little bit more foamier than I'm used to. It's a weird air bubble going on. I don't know. It's super weird. All right. Third one. There we go. Fourth one coming after the kickoff here. And a touchback. Daniel says if MG says something nice about the Cowboys, throw in another $5. We need MG's burner account to come through then. There is an MG Burner account, by the way. It's pretty funny. All right. First and 10. I got time. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Goff. Downfield. Got a man for a first down. Hold on. There's still a little bit left. My bad. Ugh. Thank you, Anthony. First and 10. From the 40, Goff. Under pressure. Micah giving chase. It's another sack for Micah Parsons. Entering today's game, he had six and a half sacks. He might go for the record. That's one and a half more today. Second and 23. Lions down by 14. Goff drops back to pass. Micah again! Another sack! Two and a half sacks for Micah Parsons! He's got nine on the season through six games. He's going to go for the record. Third and 35. Can he get one more? From the 15. Goff, under pressure, Micah, balls out, balls out, incomplete pass. Oh, Micah had it. Oh, my goodness. Are, are they going to go for this? They have to, right? Oh, my God, they're going for it. Fourth and 35 from the 15. Dan Campbell's a madman. Mike almost got free. Seam shot. Well, they picked up like 27 yards. It didn't matter. They're short. Laporta got free for a huge gain, but they needed 35 yards because they didn't have time to allow it to develop because Micah was going to get the sack. 
So Dallas takes over. God, just run the football. Just, just run the football. Minute 51, the Lions have all three timeouts. Make them be down 14 with a minute 30 to go. And just don't be stupid. The Madden is often very stupid. I kind of hope no one puts in the 50 for two more beer bongs, by the way. That'd be, that might be a little rough for me. Prescott, handoff, Dowdle. Dowdle is going to get nothing on that one, a yard. Timeout, Lions. Excuse me. Second and nine, just, just run the football twice. Micah's hot in the game. He's got the X factor thing, which I think is so stupid, but whatever. Sometimes those break it. <clears throat> one more time on the Super Chat menu. After this play. Prescott, handoff to Dowdle. Dowdle is going to get six, five on that one. Uh, every $5 Super Chat is two entries for our Bluetooth speaker giveaway. $10 Super Chat is six. $20 Super Chat is two shots. And the $50 Super Chat is two beer bongs. Uh, I did give a bunch of entries to Anthony as well, since he put in the 50 50. Third and four. Downfield. Prescott does not deliver to Ferguson. His clock will stop. It's like the third incompletion all game, by the way, for Dak. Fourth and four. I assume they're going to field goal time. This would ice it. This would make it a three-score game. From 52 yards, Aubrey. I think it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's good. Good. Aliens in the chat. Because the kickers aren't people, but he is an alien. So 30 to 13. All right, this game's over, baby. Cowboys going to improve to 5-1 and one in the Madden Sim season. I, I don't know how realistic that is, if, if I'm being honest here. Kick is away from Brandon Aubrey. And a touchback with a minute 37 to go. 30-13, to 13, Dallas leads. This was a 13-10 lead for the Lions. And the Cowboys have rattled off 20 unanswered. In real life, this would have been the cut Dak, put Trey Lance in, fire Zimmer, fire McCarthy game in the third quarter, which happens every year. There's always one of those of just like chaosness. And like every once I've gone in the first quarter, it's not multiple times per game. Goff. Almost picked. Uh, by the way, by the way, folks, the backups are in. They put the backups in for the Cowboys' defense. That was Israel Mukwamu in coverage. They put the backups in in Madden. Well, now Diggs is out there. But Mukwamu's playing slot corner. Now, now Diggs is back out there, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was one, one play they gave the... the the, the backups in, and it was like over the, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I have injuries off. Mukwamu shouldn't have been out there. Goff on first and 10. Downfield. Uh-oh. There goes a man. Touchdown, Lions. I'm in Ross St. Brown. Man, Jordan Lewis is bad today. He was bad. 30 to 13. With 101 to go, Lions have 30 to 19. Wow. Zeno says it doesn't matter. They will not get the onside kick because Dallas has the momentum. They do. And it's at home, it's impossible to, to onside kick against Dallas. Onside kick. It, it never works in Madden. Any of the games, which is mostly fair because you, you never, it's like a one in 10 chance at best in real life anyway. 
So get the onside kick. Lions cannot stop the clock. It'll officially be game. A 30-20 win. Italian Cowboys is 4% chance. That sounds about right. That is, without a doubt, the worst onside kick I have ever seen. It went zero yards. It went zero yards. It went straight across the line. It's like eating the whole wheel of cheese. I'm not even mad. That's impressive. That's wild. So Dallas, they even Madden won't do stupid stuff. Why are they? Why is the animation doing the kickoff animation again? It's Cowboys football. God, Madden is so bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Who are we following? Cameraman's drunk. And I only did four beer bongs in a row and three shots. Good Lord. All right, who was the Cowboys' week six MVP? Dak. Dak was good. He missed like three passes all game. Dowdle played well. Tolbert played well. Micah? Micah, Micah, Micah got to go over late. Oh, by the way, it did. It did uh, my controller did, it, did, did, did disconnect. It, that did come through. Nobody tell anybody. I didn't know that was possible. I, I, it was, it, I didn't charge it. So. Olivia was watching Bluey earlier, so it was low battery. Cowboys will kneel, and they will win. And it will destroy Dak's rushing stats. One for 21 yards, and then three straight kneel downs. What? what? I, I looked at the stats afterward. I don't remember what they were. Dak was like... Stupid, like 14 of 16, what was he? Yeah, I looked at it. What was he? I know, it, it's very tough to scrub on your end. Let's just back it up and play. Who was the week six MVP? Cooks, Cooks played well. Dak had 189 yards, two touchdowns. Jared Goff's stat was garbage time stat king, by the way. Finished with 270 and about 89 on that, that final drive. Dak finished the game 15 of 19 for 189 and two scores. Kind of double those numbers for like the non-Madden. That's what I'll do at the end of the year, by the way. I'll, I'll prorate it out and double all the stats, which does mean Dallas dropped 60, so I'm not sure how realistic that is, but it's, it's a video game. It's a game. So final question. Who was the Cowboys' Week 6 MVP? Let me know in the comments section right now.